Throughout the course of history, there have been a lot of diseases that have ravaged the world. Thankfully though, a lot of these have been eradicated. I mean, they've apparently been eradicated, I should say. Because is there a chance of these diseases coming back? Could there be a chance that maybe someone somewhere still has or is carrying that disease? But there are still a lot of diseases that have resulted in outbreaks throughout the world. I already covered some of them in part one of this video, so I hope you guys are ready for 10 more. Hey, what's up you guys? I'm your host for this one, Landon. Do not come within six feet of me and welcome back to another most amazing top 10 video before we get started i want to know if there's any historical diseases that you would be so afraid of if they actually made a comeback let me know in the comment section below and also let me know where you guys are from i'm very curious and make sure you guys head over to manscrim at landon productions we're giving away a total of five thousand dollars this spring so make sure you guys look for this image right here this is the new contest image make sure to follow the instructions and tell me what else i should give away let's get right into this one this is the top 10 scary diseases that can wipe out humans part two coming number 10 we have typhoid fever typhoid fever is usually spread through contaminated food and water although it can also be spread through humans the most popular case of this being transmitted between humans was of a person dubbed typhoid mary hence of the name a new york cook who was a symptomatic carrier and infected 53 people that caused three deaths typhoid symptoms include fever weakness abdominal pain constipation headaches and sometimes pinkish spots on the body it has begun developing resistance to antibiotics used to treat them, which makes it pretty scary if untreated, it has a 30% mortality rate. And at number 9, we have the measles. Measles is actually pretty common, especially in children, and it does currently have a vaccine. However, it is starting to make a comeback with almost 1,300 cases in the U.S. last year alone. That's more cases than any time in the past 25 years. Symptoms include fever, cough, or runny nose, inflamed eyes, red and white spots in the mouth and a red rash that spreads over the body. What's more scarier about the disease is the fact that it can usually cause the immune system to forget resistance to other non-related diseases. This obviously can be very dangerous to a lot of people. Next up, number eight, meningococcal meningitis. Meningococcal meningitis can be caused by either a virus or a bacteria and can be incredibly dangerous. It causes inflammation of a delicate tissue that covers the brain and the spinal cord. Untreated, it has a 50% mortality rates and 15% of those survive it are left with deafness, brain damage, and neurological problems. Number seven is a pneumonia. While pneumonia is fairly common and can be treated, it can be incredibly serious for people whose bodies are ill-equipped to handle the stresses it causes. Elderly people and people with pre-existing conditions are most at risk for pneumonia to become serious. This disease is characterized by one or both lungs filled with fluids or pus, and symptoms include chest pain, confusion, a cough, fatigue, and even more. The death rate is 30% of people who develop serious cases, and anyone with pneumonia is very, very vulnerable to the current COVID-19 virus. Anything or like any condition, any pre-existing condition that affects the lungs, it's a very scary time right now with COVID-19 going after the lungs. Taking the number six spot, we have the Crimean Congo hemorrhagic fever. This disease is not very common throughout the world right now, but given the numerous ways it can be transmitted, I feel like the risk factor is definitely there. It can spread through animal blood, tick bites, and contact with an infected person. It begins with flu-like symptoms, but quickly progresses to mental disturbances such as irritability, and then results in kidney deterioration, and also pulmonary failure. Crimean Congo hemorrhage. So this condition has the same mortality rate as the last one we talked about. It's about 30%. Coming to number 5 is SARS. SARS actually wasn't that long ago. In 2002 and 2003, almost 8,000 people across the world contacted this virus and nearly 800 people died. SARS symptoms include a dry cough, respiratory issues. This is just mirror. A lot of these things just attack your respiratory system. You also have body aches, discomfort, chills, and it also leads to a dangerously low oxygen levels in the brain. Almost anyone who contracts SARS also develops pneumonia. Next up, number four is smallpox. Uh, we're going way back for this one. In the 1600s, smallpox absolutely terrorized North America, brought over by European coloners. It killed off 70% of the indigenous population. Then in the 1700s, over 800 people in Boston died from it. Symptoms of smallpox include a high fever, a rash that becomes with blisters all over the body, headaches, backaches, abdominal pain, vomiting, and a general feeling of being unwell. While it is technically
technically eradicated in the 1970s, I personally don't believe that this means it will never come back. There's also a vaccine that was commonly administrated, but it isn't anymore. Which to me just sounds like that there's a whole generation of people whose bodies don't have the resistance to fight it. And that's if it comes back. Which is scary considering it has a 30 to 50% mortality rate if untreated. Number 3 spot goes to cholera. While cholera is very uncommon in the western countries, it has been an ongoing concern in many other parts of the world. As recently as this January, there was an outbreak of cholera in Congo. The two main symptoms of this is severe dehydration and diarrhea, and when untreated, it is almost always fatal. It is spread through the water and food sources, and it is contaminated by the feces of somebody who has cholera. And at number two is polio. Thankfully, most people who developed polio won't show any symptoms, while some will experience nausea, headache, and a sore throat throat, a fever, and other typical flu-like symptoms. When it escalates though, it becomes incredibly serious. It can lead to a feeling of pins and needles in the legs, meningitis, paralysis, and even death. Even when children recover from polio, it can resurface as paralysis later in life. There is a vaccine currently that is 99% effective at preventing it, but because diseases tend to evolve and mutate, and polio is transmittable from person to person, this would be terrifying if it became an epidemic. And finally, number one is the flu. Yes, the flu that pops up everywhere every winter and most people recover without much concern. But the flu evolves and mutates so rapidly the scientists have to develop a new vaccine for it every single year. So just this flu season alone, over 55,000 people in the US have been hospitalized because of the flu and almost 3,000 people have died from it. And a lot of people aren't really talking about this right now. I mean, those are no small numbers and that's with the vaccine available. So even the things that you think that we have control of in this world we we don't well there you guys have it that was the top 10 scary diseases that can wipe out humans part two let me know if i've missed any and if i should make a part three let me know in the comment section below because i'm sure there's a lot more diseases that the world has battled through history well i'm your host for this one landon do not come within six feet of me and i'll catch you guys all in the next most amazing top 10 video mm -hmm.